So I'm very lucky to get my hands on the new MBOT Neo made by Makeblot. It is an upgraded version of their very successful original MBOT. And today we're going to go over what's the difference between the original MBOT and what you get with the new MBOT Neo. Alright, let's start to have a look at the difference between these two robots and why someone might consider upgrading to the MBOT Neo over the original MBOT. Motor-wise, the original MBOT just has DC motors without any encoders. The new MBOT Neo has a more powerful DC motor and their encoder motors. The encoder motors allows you to have high accurate speed control and high accurate position control. Sensor-wise, the original MBOT has an ultrasonic sensor and a simple on-off line following sensor. Uh, the MBOT Neo has an ultrasonic sensor as well, but it has a more advanced 4RGB line following sensor. This allows you to follow lines smoother and faster and detect colors on the lines. The MBOT Neo also has on board a six axis IMU. So that gives you three axis gyro and three axis accelerometer. For outputs, the uh, sorry, for the other user inputs, the original MBOT has one user input button. The MBOT Neo has a four-way joystick, plus a button in the center of the joystick, and two other user buttons here, so a lot more user input. As for outputs, the MBOT Neo has a little screen here. You can put stuff out on, a full RGB screen. It's only small, but a full RGB screen. Um, both robots have some RGB LEDs, the original MBOT, has two RGB LEDs, whereas the MBOT Neo has four RGB LEDs, so a little bit more output there. One of the biggest difference between these two robots is the original MBOT is an Arduino-based robot, and the new MBOT Neo is a MicroPython-based robot. So they both have the same sort of scratch uh, graphical interface sitting on top, but if you want to program them in a textual language, you have to program this here with Arduino, and you can program this one here with either Arduino or MicroPython. So here we're going to do a line following race between the MBOT Neo on the bottom and the original MBOT on the top. Uh, I've just used very simple code here. It's just a simple proportional line follower on the MBOT Neo. Um, you could make it go faster using a PID or even a PD line follower. You can see that the MBOT Neo is pretty much back by the time the original MBOT is just turning around. So you can see the increase in performance of the line follower of the MBOT Neo without even resorting to complex code. I've got the original MBOT here, which is an Arduino based robot. I'm gonna to try to use the iPad to program it in upload mode because upload mode gives me much more performance than in live mode because I don't have the latency of the Bluetooth in between. So I have a simple program here. I have it connected via Bluetooth and all I wanna do is I wanna upload that program via Bluetooth. If I press the upload button, I get this message that says, upload mode not available for this device in MBlock app please use your computer to upload programs. And the reason for that is, is Arduino needs to be, your code needs to be compiled into machine instructions before being sent off to the robot. There's a compiler to do that for Windows. There's one for Mac, but there's not a compiler for tablets. So it means tablets can't use upload mode for Arduino robots. Okay, now I've got the MBOT Neo here. I've got much the same code. I'm in upload mode. I have it connected via Bluetooth, and I'm gonna hit the upload button. Upload, okay, and away the robot goes. So that's an advantage of having MicroPython. So another difference between the original MBOT and MBOT Neo is the original NBOT could only play monotone sounds. So I've made up here the first few bars of Mary Had a Little Lamb. We will upload him. And also notice how long it takes to upload with Arduino. M 
Gambot Neo has a DAC which allows playing full analog sound rather than just monotones. You'll see over here it has quite a lot of sound audio blocks. I've picked out that when the CyberPi starts up, turns the volume up, and I'm gonna play one of the pre-recorded sounds. There's quite a lot of them. I'm just sticking to um, laugh. And then I'm saying, anytime the event A button is pressed, I'm gonna record. So as well as being able to play sounds, it can record sounds. And when B button is pressed, play that recording back. Now note when I go to upload this, how quickly Python uploads. There's the laugh. Now let's do a recording. Everybody loves MBOT Neo. And let's play the recording black. So really nice audio stuff on MBOT Neo. So another new feature of the MBOT Neo is that once it's connected to Wi-Fi, it can send messages between CyberPies or between MBOT Neos. So I have two of them here and I have one set up that when it starts up, it clears the screen, sets the print size to middle, tries to connect to the Wi-Fi. I've left my password out for the video. It will then, once it's tried to connect, it will just wait till it is connected, printing still trying. Once it does connect, then it will print connected. Then forevermore, it's gonna send two messages. One message is gonna be forward with the value of how much the gyro is tilted forward. Another message called steer with how much the gyro is tilted in roll. And then on my receiving one, I have it set up to do the same. Connect up, after it's connected, it has this forever loop where it calls this my block, where it sets the forward power and the steer, and that just simply pushes it out to the two wheels. I have over here that any time it receives the message steer, it sends to the value steer whatever value came in that message. Any time it, sets, it gets the message forward, it sets to the variable call forward to that there. All right, All right let's see it in action. There we go, that's that one connected up. Let's start up this one as well. There we go. Start sending our messages. All right. Oh, there he goes, he's going now. Beautiful. We've covered a lot of the main differences between the two robots. Of course, we haven't covered every single detail, but there's enough in there that you get a bit of an idea between the two. Now, we can't expect to get all the new features of the Neo and still have exactly the same price as the original Ember. From my research, it seems that most places are selling the Neo for about double of what they're selling the original MBOT for. That's not saying the Neo is expensive, but really a reflection on how well priced the original MBOT is. Anyway, hope you guys out there got a bit of an idea and have enjoyed the video.